Hello everybody, I'm Night Cirque and welcome to episode 3 of our Minecraft 1.19 Survival Let's Play series. In our last episode, we got this cliffside done going to the entrance to our base. We also branched off in this direction and got a nice chest room done, along with heading to the nether and building ourselves a bedroom. And now for today's episode, we are going to be enchanting. And if you remember in the last episode, we found a bastion in the nether, so we will also be conquering the bastion. This will be my first time ever going to a bastion, and I am definitely ready to get this episode going. I do want to say thank you so, so very much for 100 subscribers. I uploaded episode one of the series, which was my first video on this channel, and we hit 100 subscribers just nine days later. Thank you so, so much. How could I forget last episode? we also got ourselves a skeleton XP farm going. But the first thing I want to do in today's episode is go and get some more diamonds. We currently have eight back at the house, but two of those are going to go for the enchantment table. And before we go to the bastion, I definitely like to get some diamond armor. Again, I have never been to a bastion before, so I definitely just want to make sure that I'm prepared. We spent quite a lot of time last episode in mining, so let's just skip to the part where we get diamonds. Respiration 3. We are now on level negative 59. I am just going to continue on branch mining until I get around 20 diamonds. And there goes my last pickaxe. Oh gosh darn it. I was trying to place a torch on the wall, but we were able to get 15 diamonds, which is nice. Oh no. Or wait. Oh, ah! I was aiming for about 20. 15 is just right about there. And I have six diamonds back at our base that we can also use for armor or tools, which what I mainly want to do is make one diamond pickaxe, possibly two, and make some diamond armor just so I'm ready to head into the bastion. And with these diamonds, I first want to make a diamond pickaxe. I would also love to have a chest plate, and I think we'll also get some leggings. And then might as well do another pickaxe. Only so we can have one silk touch pickaxe and one fortune pickaxe, hopefully if the enchantments go right. And then we'll have two big pieces of diamond armor that we will also enchant. But before we enchant, we gotta work on the build for our enchantment room. And I got a comment saying that I should build a mushroom. I'm going to be building a mushroom that our enchantment setup is going to go in. That was from a comment from one of you. And as I say in every episode, if you have any builds or ideas for the series please be sure to let me know down in the comments i would love to use your ideas more and more in this series i think what i'm going to do is branch off in this direction and clear out a room where i'm going to try and transform that room into the inside of a mushroom and on the inside of that we will have our enchantment table enchantment room is now complete. I got a fair amount of different things done. I wanted to make the enchantment room kind of looking like it's the inside of a mushroom. And the best way to do that is to get some mushroom blocks. But because I did not have silk touch yet, getting mushroom blocks was just impossible. So what I did was I did enchant. As you can see, my levels have dropped by maybe 30 or so. And I have been enchanting and then disenchanting, enchanting and then disenchanting. Just a ton of pickaxes, just a bunch of iron pickaxes 
pickaxes until I finally got Silk Touch. I then got Silk Touch on an iron pickaxe and then I went over to the dark oak biome that we came by in episode one. And then I collected a lot of different types of mushrooms in order so we can build our enchantment room. And this is what we got. So you walk down this and then we got a whole new hallway right here. We got some lighting in the ceiling. I got a lantern in the wall. And then we also have a nice window. And then if you turn right, there is a staircase going down to our mushroom. And here we go. Here's our enchantment table. I decorated it a fair amount. I put up some vines because I think vines do look very nice, except it may not make too much sense to have vines because if you have a vine inside your mushroom, it's probably not a good mushroom, but it makes the build look so much better. So I will be keeping it. I got the enchantment table down. I do not quite have level 30 enchants yet. I will be needing to get some more papers so we can make some more books, but that'll be pretty easy to get. We also got a grindstone, which I use this to disenchant the iron pickaxes a lot. I also got some barrels that I will be putting lapis and maybe books in. And then over here, I did create an anvil and we also got ourselves a crafting table. Please be sure to let me know on what you think about the enchantment build. I was thinking about maybe making a mushroom up on the surface, but since I want most of our builds to be in this cave ravine, I decided to do it this way instead. And I really, really love how this came out. And I really hope you all like it as well. Thank you for the idea on using a mushroom for this build. Sorry if that's not what you were thinking about when you said mushroom but that's kind of my spin on it. Also, in other news, if you remember, I created two diamond pickaxes, one for a possible silk touch and one for a possible fortune. But I forgot that in our second episode, I created a diamond pickaxe. So I actually did not need to create this one. So right now we do just have three diamond pickaxes. But now that we got that done, I will be going and getting the rest of the paper to finish off our bookshelves. And I will be sitting AFK in the skeleton spawner until I get to maybe level 36, 39, somewhere in that range. And while that's happening, I will have sugarcane grow right there while I will be right down there. So as I'm AFK, the sugarcane will grow. And by the time I got all of my levels, I will be able to come out and have enough paper so we can make another bookshelf so we can get some level 30 enchantments going. So I've been sitting here AFK for about 30 minutes. Now here and there I would see just like that, I, there is a skeleton that will just fall and die to fall damage. I don't know why that is. The majority of them do not do that as you can see, but yeah, some of them for some, some of them for some reason they will just fall and die. 30 minutes of waiting here and let's see how much levels we can get from five. Okay, up to level 16. So I'll be sitting here for maybe 30 to 45 more minutes. We are now done getting experience. I can now get four level 30 enchantments if I want. And I noticed something very, very weird. At one point I sat AFK for one hour and I barely gained any levels. And then I started sitting AFK for maybe five minutes at a time, killing them almost as they come down. And I was gaining experience so much faster. I don't know if there's a thing where if there's too many monsters, the experience drops, or if maybe I can't collect all the experience when there's so many monsters. When I was going in smaller bursts of killing the skeletons, I was getting much more than waiting a long time and then killing them. Now, before we move on, I do need to go and collect our sugar cane. I have enough leather already, but I was short on some paper, but not anymore. And with these seven bookshelves, that definitely should be enough for us to enchant. We now have level 30 enchantments. I will make the bookshelves look a lot better. I'll add some here, add some here, put some up top. But just for now, this is what we got just so we can get level 30 enchantments. Now for our pickaxe, we do have an unbreaking three, which can be very good if it gives us efficiency, fortune, silk touch, or we can get unbreaking three on protection four. We're going to go conquer the bastion. I think starting off with protection four on our diamond chest plate is the best bet and there we go just protection four but i am still happy with that protection four on our leggings i'll definitely take that again just protection four but still very good and for the pickaxe efficiency three i will not be doing an efficiency enchantment unless it's efficiency four so i will pass on that looting two on our sword that can be very good if we get something else with it so i'm really hoping we get something else Bane of Arthur Parts and Knockback. Uh. 
After doing our sword enchantment, our pickaxe now has efficiency 4, so I will be taking a shot on this. I really, really hope it's not just efficiency 4. Oh! <laughs> That is an amazing pickaxe. Efficiency 4 on Breaking 3 and Fortune 3. That actually is the best pickaxe you can get from a level, just a base level 30 enchantment. This is the best you can get. So I'm super happy with that. We still have 30 levels left. Efficiency 4. I could take a shot on that and hope for Silk Touch, but I'll see what the sword has. Sharpness 3. I think I'm going to take a shot at the Efficiency 4 Diamond Pickaxe and hope we get Silk Touch. Okay, fortune two. Uh. Our diamond sword now has unbreaking three. And our third pickaxe has unbreaking three as well. Overall, I am pretty happy with what we got. We got a protection four chest plate, a protection four leggings, and an efficiency four unbreaking three fortune three pickaxe, which is crazy. I was debating on disenchanting this, but I think I'll keep it and just use this pickaxe to clear out rooms because I definitely will need a workhorse pickaxe just to clear out space since we're always going to be digging into our cave ravine. I definitely need to make sure that I am wearing gold while I'm in the nether. So we will be wearing a golden helmet. I think we now have everything we are going to need. And here we go, going to the bastion we found in our last episode. Again, I have never explored the bastion or even been to a bastion before. Now I did go here a little earlier today, but I didn't explore. I just kind of reinforced our little bridge. And then I was down there and I was looking for some mushrooms just so like I can get some mushrooms, bone mill them, and then use that for our enchantment build. But I wasn't able to find any mushrooms here. And since I was able to go to the dark oak forest i was good on the mushrooms i have not broken into this but i do see like a little entrance now how i'm going to go about this is i am going to build up i'm going to build up and loot from the top going down just because i really oh gosh i hear monsters in there i really don't know how this works all right there are golden blocks i do know some things i think the piglins will not attack you unless you start breaking their golden blocks or start opening their chests so I think I'm pretty safe from them for now. Okay, we are now at the top and there is a little stairway. I have a golden helmet on. Okay, I think we're good, right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. There's another one. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, we were not good. That's my first death of the series. I did not think I would get attacked as long as I was wearing gold and as long as I didn't take their loot. But I guess the ones with the axes just attack you straight up. I wish I would have known that. Looks like we have to be more safe than we were. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, there's three of them. I'm beginning to think this was not a good idea. I don't have a pickaxe, but I'm going to break these blocks so they are unable to jump up here. Now, the one good thing about being in the nether is I can actually mine the nether act. Never mind, I don't pick it up. Oh no. Why did I do that? I'm going to go get some food and get some blocks, and then we are conquering this bastion. I really did not think that this was going to be difficult. Here's the strategy. Now I'm safe. I think I have everything back now. Now it's time to conquer. Yeah. We are going to take this nice and slow. They are so strong. Now let's see what kind of loot they have. Golden carrots, that can be helpful. Whoa, I've never seen this block before. Okay, let's make our way down. We made our way pretty far down and I did not see anything. We are now back at the top. I'm now going to go back to where I saw those gold blocks. I do hear them, they are really close. Okay, here we go. Whoa, what? I've seen speedrunners drop gold in holes and it like makes them all fall in a hole, but I did not drop any gold. They were just all grouped up there. Okay, let's see what we got. And a diamond shovel. That's actually pretty useful for us. Whoa. Oh my gosh. It gets so much bigger. Oh gosh. Okay, there are a lot down there. I see none around this level. I see a chest. Okay, let's see what kind of loot is in the chest. An iron sword with mending and an iron sword at smite. Soul speed one could be pretty good. I really, really do not want to die at this point because we're actually pretty deep into the bastion. 
Oh gosh. Oh no. No! Okay, we got all of our loot back. Wow. So I did switch the difficulty to peaceful. I'm sorry if that's kind of like me cheating, but I've died three times already and I, I, I... And we have some pretty bad news because this piglin picked up my diamond armor. I'm going to take out the piglin and I'm just going to hope he drops the armor. <laughs> Okay, he did drop the armor. He, look at all the loot. He had all my stuff. But this does make me need to ask a serious question. If you all want, I can make a rule where I am not allowed to change the difficulty no matter what. Now, this whole time, I have had the difficulty on hard. But as you can see right now, I've died three times already. Things are just clearly a bit too difficult for me. So let me know if you think I should not be able to switch the difficulty at all. In the settings, there is a little lock where I can lock it there. I switched it to peaceful right now. It's been on hard. If you guys want, I can lock it on hard. Because I do understand if switching the difficulty to peaceful kind of seems like cheating. But just please be sure to let me know if you want me to lock the difficulty on hard or maybe lock the difficulty on normal. I did leave the bastion. I did not loot anymore. I did see a couple other chests and a lot more golden blocks, but I did not take any of that. But I do think this is pretty important. So please let me know what you think I should put the difficulty at. If you think I should lock it at a difficulty, the difficulty is now going back on hard. Or maybe if you want a rule where after I die a certain amount of times, I can switch it to easy, but I cannot switch it down too peaceful please be sure to let me know because i do think this is going to be pretty important for the series carrying on because right now we aren't in hardcore so dying definitely is going to be a part of this let's play but after dying three times within like 20 minutes it shows that was just a little too difficult for me but my thoughts right now are i will keep it on hard difficulty except maybe after three deaths i'm allowed to switch the game to easy whether it be on fighting the wither or the ender dragon those are my thoughts without your input so please i would love to see what you think if the majority of you are saying that I should keep it on a certain difficulty or whatever the rule might be that is what we will go with but if the comment section is pretty split I think I'll make my decision out of maybe the top two responses from all of you as I said I want this to be a very interactive series and this is a pretty big spot where I'd love to get your input but on that note that is going to be the end of today's episode if you did enjoy please consider subscribing and leaving a like if you have not done so already thank you all so so much for for 100 subscribers, it seriously does mean a lot. I uploaded my first video on this channel 10 days ago from when I'm recording this. And to see this crazy support is just, and I seriously thank you all for that. Again, please be sure to leave a comment on your thoughts about the whole difficulty thing.